Right, today I'm going to show you how to replace the brake shoes for the rear brake. These for the uh, Toyota Matrix uh, model 2003 to 2008, uh, Toyota Corolla 2003 to 2008, and Pontiac Vibe uh, the same year. 2003 to 2008. Alright, so first you gotta do is you gotta remove the, the wheel, of course, right? And then you gotta remove this drum here. And to remove the drum, uh, basically, you just pull it straight out. And if you are Arnold Schwarzenegger, you can just hold right here and rip it right out. But since I'm not the governor, and maybe someday I will, um, I'm just going to use two small bolts. There are two holes on the drum, and you get the bolts and thread it in, okay? And then you start turning, but you got to do it evenly, okay? So you do like a little bit on this side, and then a, you know, a little bit on this side, like that. Keep the way until the drum came out. Okay, so I think I got it loose. Alright, so you can get rid of the dust here. You must break dust inside this thing. Alright, so let me show you the drum here. You see the two bolts? When the bolt comes in, it's starting to push out from the metal piece here. So it helps pushing the drum out. Alright, so here's what it looks like inside. So basically, this is only held by five springs. One here, one here, one here. This one here go all the way across. And this one on the top. So one, two, three, four, five. And all you gotta do is to remove four springs and you're good to go. How hard can that be? Alright, so let's get started. Alright, first let's try this spring. Remove this spring on the bottom. Uh, you can use this lock locking plier, or you can use this, something like this. Groove pliers, but I find it easier to use a locking pliers because it's just easier, especially the one with uh, smaller tips like this. This one's got bigger tips, so you know you only have limited space in here, so the smaller tips will make it easier for you to. I work on All right just grab hold pull see I don't have enough room to pull this let me go all the way back all the way back out there you go Plus spring, three more to go. All right, next you got to remove this spring here, and uh, this is only composed of three parts: the spring, the wash on the top, and the pin in the center. The pin go all the way from the back, all the way to the front, and it's held together by the washer. If you look closely, you can see the the washer has got a cross shape like that and then um, it's an indentation where it's held together uh, where it, it holds the, uh, the the middle pin the center pin so what you gotta do is you gotta turn this the center pin you gotta turn the center pin the other way so it match up with this slot you see that slot right there once it matches up with the slot, it will come out. Right? So, so you got to push it in. 
to release the tension and then turn the pin uh, to, so that it match with the slot and it will come out. Okay. almost there so when you push it in the pins also is pushed in with it so what you gotta do is you gotta use a finger on the back here to hold the pin on the back okay the, the top of the pin is on the back so just hold it so that it doesn't move along with the whole thing so it will stick out that way you can turn it right so push it in and then just turn it a little bit there you go See that? It'll come out. So this pin here, that's what I'm talking about. It goes all the way to the back. And the head of the pin, see the head of the pin? is toward the back. You can use a finger to hold it on like that so it doesn't move along with everything. If it does, then everything going to move together and you're not going to be able to uh, turn this head into the slot. So it was like this, right? So when you push it in, you need to have room so that you can push it in. You have to have room so that you can turn this. So it will go out. If it moves together with the, the, the top washer, when you push it in, move together, you turn, everything turn. So it's still locked. See what I mean? So hold the back like that. Push it in, push the, see now only the top moves. Now you can move the pin and then it will come out like that. Okay? And this spring on this side here is exactly the same thing. Alright, let's try the other one. I find it easier if you use this kind of locking plier and they adjust the uh, the clamps about this size so it can fit in here when you push in it doesn't push the pin in okay so give it like that much space so let's try it hand on the back holding the pin okay so that way I can just hold the plier like this right instead of with this I have to like release it a little bit like like that so I don't have enough force to push in when I try to release it like that. Well, this way is naturally like this. I just have to push it in and turn. Okay, almost out. Push in and turn. A little bit more. There you go. Very easy. You know, my hands is free. This way, my hands is free. All I have to do is just grab real tight. This doesn't clamp all the way down. It's adjustable. See that? So just push in, turn, and that will go. Remember to put your hand on the back though to hold the, uh, the pins in place. All right, next there are two springs left. One here on the top, one here on the bottom. You spring all the way across. It's a very long spring. And uh, you only have to remove one spring which is the one on the top here okay so this spring on the top it's got a hook like that right here it's got a hook hook in the metal piece here and all you gotta do is you gotta hold it like here push that way and pull it out right All right, so let's see, back to my locking plier with a small head here. Grab 
maybe we need to tighten up a little bit. Yeah. Out like that. Sit. Yeah, and it comes with this metal piece. So make sure to keep it together. Okay. All right, so we got one more spring left. But you don't have to move this spring. Just pull it right out. Let's see. Let's pull it out. Just bend it a little bit, and you can pull the metal piece out. Oh, it just came out just like that. Just bend it like that, 90 degree. Everything came out. The shoe, this metal piece here. and the rest of the assembly came out okay all right that's that that's that now we got one more thing to remove which is this spring oh there's another swing i forgot to mention it's all the way down here so let's remove this spring Right, see to remove this spring, you gotta pull. Let's see, we'll get into a better position here. Pull the spring like that, and just pull it up like that. But the problem is, when you pull the spring, you create tension, so it's hard for you to push it up. That's a problem. When you pull this spring, you create tension on the on the cable. But you gotta push it up. But that's the problem. And you have to overcome push it up. Like that. And then get it out. And it will come out. Like that. There you go. Alright, so next you gotta remove this metal bracket from the shovel. Right, this one right here. It's held together by this locking washer thingy. So you're gonna need this and a flathead screwdriver. Alright, so I'm just gonna turn this out a little bit. Easier for me to grab it. And then just maybe adjust my lock, my vice grip a little bit. Let's see if I can pull this out. Push it that way. Okay. Like that, like that. See here now we got some some space to wiggle your screwdriver in. Coming out. It's like that. All right, let me show you something. Um, this is my old pad, and I, I have to install this, and this goes on the bottom right there. goes in there like so, right? This can't go on the top, because uh, it won't fit. It's got to go on the bottom, like that, and it swings like that, okay? That's the old one. The new one is different. The new one I receive is like this. So this is gonna go in here like that, but this part gotta be on the bottom, right? If I flip on the bottom, it's a mirror image of the other one. So basically, uh, looks like uh, 
uh, they sent me a wrong part, right? But actually, it's not. Um, they just put the spin here the wrong way. So, um, you know, all you gotta do is to remove this pin because this now, if I put it in like this, right? It won't. It's gotta be. It's gotta be on the bottom, right? So it'll be like that. But this is the mirror image of the other one. See that? These two gotta be exactly the same. But the new one is the mirror image of the other one. So what you gotta do is remove this pin. This pin can be removed. Okay, so just hammer it out. Right, sam it out like that, and then put put it the other way around, and then just hammer it back in. That's it. Looks like the wrong part, but they just put the spin here the wrong way. So now we got exactly the same uh, part. See, so there's a big washer on the top here on the bottom there's no washer on the bottom now it's exactly the same all right all right let's put this back in this go in here like so all right like that and then you push the pin in Like that, it's in. All right, so next we got this part here. This is the metal piece that goes on the top next to the long springs. And this is the auto adjustment thingy. Um, so when your pads <coughs> is worn, this automatically uh, comes out to extend this part. So we we'll push the pads out when the pads is worn. So, th so the more worn the pads are, the uh, the more this part is gonna push out. So this this bar is gonna be longer, right? But now since we got new uh, new pads, new shoes, new brick shoes, we have to put this back in all the way. So screw this back in all the way okay so it was all the way out here right so we now have to screw it back in this is very important right screw this back all the way all the way in like that make it shorter all the way in okay and then um, you can put your uh, new shoes on the brake shoes not the shoe shoes but uh, I guess time to put everything together now. Also, if you don't, if you don't uh, screw this all the way in, and if you leave it the, the way it was when you uh, remove it, remove the old uh, brake shoes. When you put the new shoes on, because this is thicker, this part here is thicker. Um, it's not gonna fit your drum. When you try to put your drums in, uh, it's not gonna fit because it's now thicker, so it's bigger, so it won't fit. So that's why you have to adjust this all the way in, all the way in, like that. This part here can, this <laughs> is free, but uh, you can just push it in like that. All right. 
All right, so time to put back everything together. button and let's see what's up it doesn't want to come in because it's getting too big too thick won't fit that's because this part here is extended a little bit the reason why I have to extend it is because it's a little bit loose when I put it in here it's a little bit loose so I have to make it longer so we'll uh, fit it in but now that will make the whole thing a little bit bigger now i can't put the drum in so now i have to take it apart and uh just have to screw it all the way in there's no other way <laughs> piece all the way together um, first it's a little bit loose so I have to release it a little bit but it doesn't seem to work that way as you can see so now it's all the way in let's see if it fits let me double check everything here see if everything is in place nothing wrong all the springs are there everything good to go There we go. It's not fit. See that? It will adjust once uh, I turn on the car and step on the brake. It will adjust itself. But it is good to go now. 
All right. Uh, putting back in reverse is easy to say, but uh, you know, it takes a lot of swearing and frustration out of me. But I got it done. Hi, folks. See you next time.